In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a female header with crimp pins inside. We'll start by putting one of these crimp pins on one of the wires. A crimp pin for these headers looks like this. It is squarish at the tip and has a few flaps on the back to hold the wire. There are special tools that are used to crimp these flaps around the, the wire and the, the wire installation. The larger portion on the end, which is right here, is for the wire and insulation. It wraps around the insulation of the wire. And this portion right here is for just the wire itself. And I generally use stranded wire for these. We are going to use a standard pair of needle nose pliers to do this since it is not necessary to use the special tool for this crimping. I'm using a needle nose pliers standard. You can use pretty much any type, but it's I find that the ones that are pretty high quality like these work really well. We're going to start by just before we even have the wire on there, we want to prep this to receive the wire. So the wire has a bit of a boundary so it doesn't get out while we're trying to crimp it while the while the wire is in there. So what we're going to do is use a needle nose pliers and and just curve it a little bit and we're going to have the 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 metal overlap a little bit and then we're going to take the the one that receives the actual wire and we're going to close it up a little bit okay so now we can actually put the wire into this now the wire that we want to use should be not much longer than the portion that we just crimped we want some of that some of the insulation from the wire in that first portion and then we want the remaining in the second portion that we prepared. So what we what I'm going to do is just take off some of the wire on the end. I'm going to use some side snips and then I'm going to insert the wire into that prepped area and go until you can start see the there. Now you can see the the insulation. And now I'm going to take the needle nose pliers and start to crimp at 90 degrees. I'm going to start with this portion, crimp, and then take it 90 degrees, crimp it that way, do it again until the the metal folds in on itself. And crimp it again. There's a very short region that I have focus with this macro lens. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the wire shouldn't come out. But we're not finished because we want to take the part from the, um, the insulation of the wire and we want to do the same thing with that. And it's good to know that we're, it's important to know that we want to keep the overall assembly or the overall crimping pretty thin. And I'm just going 90 degrees and crimping. And you can see how, the, how it's folding in on itself. Okay, that should be good. That should be pretty tough. It's not going to come out. Okay, now we're going to put the, we're going to insert these crimps, crimp pins into the, the female header. And if you look at it, there's a large um, openings, an end with large openings, and an end with small openings. You're going to be using the end with large openings. And you'll also notice that there are little flaps here. And these flaps, they kind of open up a little bit and then close and allow the crimp pin to go in one way and then it won't be able to come back out. So we're just going to take the green and we're going to put it in and it shouldn't come out now. You can take them out if you raise that flap and then just pull the, the crimp out. Oh, and also you want to make sure that you have it on the right side. This would be the right side to slide it in. And this would be the wrong side. So here is what it looks like when it's done. I built this particular cable assembly so I can conveniently plug it into my LCD. And now I have a, a nice cable assembly that leads to some connectors for my breadboard. 